we're going to take the, the T5 clips out of all four corners. So what we're going to do is just go in here. push down on the reflector slightly and you can get underneath this reflector here and you can hold this and you just gently push down the length of the fixture and this will pop out. And put that all to the side and then like I said you can go over to here pull this corner as you're pushing this down you don't want to bend it so you can push this down towards the inside just gently lift it out of the groove and you can get it just like that. The inner power cord is going to handle the back ballast, which is also the inner T5 bulbs here. The outer power cord is going to then have the power cord come up here, which would be the front ballast, which are the outer bulbs. Pick a small pair. You don't, you got to make sure you're not impeding or cutting on the wire whatsoever. So you're just going to come in here, get underneath that wire and lift that out. So that's out of the way. You're going to come over here and do the same thing here. Make sure that you're not getting, get them out. So these will be free, essentially. So what we're going to do now, as you can see, there are six screws here on each side. So there's the two silvers and the four black ones that are recessed here. The metal support is attached to the plastic corner, which is attached to the aluminum extrusion on all these sides here. So what we're trying to do is we're just going to look to pull this gently out of the fixture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow these to come out this way. Pull it down and let this one rest right here like this. Take these out. This front and back extrusion are going to slide apart. You actually take this, you can see the, the buttons push down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you're doing that, you can push this down. When you push that down, you can get the wire to insert completely into the connection. So you can see how it's down in much further. And then the wire or you can push down to release it. But what you can do is you can actually take a pair of needle nose, you can grab a hold of the, the wire you're gonna release, 
just gently, it doesn't take much. You push it down. And then when you push the button down on the inside, the wire will release out like that. So there's no soldering. It's just a matter of getting in there, grabbing a hold of the release wire and uh, pulling it out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ballast so we remove the power leads and we're going to end up removing these two ba the inner red and the inner blue center wire. Pull these two out and pull those two out. We're going to have them just sitting here. Now this ballast will slide out. We're going to come back over here. This gets put into the channel here, and then we're just going to slide it back down into position. You don't have to lock it in place yet. Um, if you want, you can try and put the wires behind it, but because these wires are actually behind the reflector, you won't see them anyway. So the blue will go in the next to the blue. Push that down, insert it in. Push that one in. Just kind of do a little tug to make sure that they're not coming back out. They shouldn't because they've been tinned. But we get that in there, make sure there's no stray wires. And then we can lock this ballast down into place. Okay, so you can see how they're all Nice and tight in there. So if you have a magnet screwdriver, it's really kind of nice because these would be magnetized to hold on them, hold to, onto them. And then what we can do is we can go back here, put it right back into the channel, and then lock it back down into place. Okay, so we got that side locked down. I'll do this one here. I'm gonna go over here, do the same thing. Lock that one down into place. And then just gently tighten it. You don't want to over tighten anything. We're gonna put the extrusion back in. Get that reassembled. So we're gonna take this one back, reposition the fixture. So what we're gonna do here, this is gonna get lined up with that uh, the 61 inch is actually the most difficult because it's just so long and you have to you gotta worry about the angles and all that kind of stuff. So, Make sure all the bars are out of the way. Get this piece underneath it. Okay, so that'll slide into place. Make sure this little notch. You can see the one over here. This notch is on this ridge. So you just kind of lock it into place. And then you should see where the screw threads go into the aluminum to kind of make sure that you're lined back up again.
we can slide the end on, but I want to test the unit before we assemble this side again. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this here, get this one here, get that, get that here, get that here. Just gently put it in place. I wouldn't even say fully in place. And let's test the bulbs and uh, do a quick test. We're going to slide this back into place still. And then again, we want to make sure that we get this nice and snug. The screw holes are a good indicator whether or not you're back to where you're supposed to be. So by doing this, we can kind of just go back through and put these in. previously one there. We'll just uh, zip tie that one together. And then you can see how there's extra wire here. This socket can be pulled through and then marry this one up here like this. Another zip tie. Just keep the, keep the wires nice and neat. Snip that off, snip this one off. What you want to do is just make sure that the uh, wires are kind of tucked back in here. And then one of the important things too, you can see how these have edge protectors on this, this side here and then edge protectors on this side here. Mm -hmm. This is for the wires coming this way. So that would be for this particular side, and you can see the wires on this side would be coming around here. So when I push them back in, this wire would not get cut by these ends. Before you push the reflectors in, the holes that are there, you can line them up before you start pushing them down in, just so that you're kind of close. And then all you have to do is just gently kind of set these to go down on the one side of the channel. 